Hey everybody, this is Mike Anderson with Collision Advice. I'm here with my great friend Danny with the DEG, and we're working with SERS to bring you a series of quick tips that will help you to boost your business. Recently, we talked about the steps to performing a pre or post diagnostic scan. And one of the steps that we described and that we shared with you was the fact that you have to hook up battery support. Now, I think it's really important that you understand today's quick tip is to educate you about what battery support is and is not. Danny, what are your thoughts? You got all these props here, bro. What's going on? Oh, man. I mean, all these really cool uh, chargers and uh, maintainers and you know things like that. But again, these are tools that are not intended to be used during the scanning process because, again, this is a jump starter. This one is to give the vehicle a boost of energy if the battery's dead to get it started. Something like this right here is a battery tender, which keeps the battery at a maintained uh, voltage during long-term storage. And something like this right here is an actual uh, battery charger, which will allow you to hook it up and give the battery a deep charge, but it doesn't maintain the proper current and voltage in the actual systems. And with many of these electronics, they require a fluctuation of, um, of power going up and down. And again, they, they each have their own specific requirements and each manufacturer has a set required OEM tool that they recommend to be used during the process of scanning. And again, you wanna use a battery uh, support, support. Uh, tool that is uh, approved and required by the manufacturer of the vehicle that you are working on. Yeah, now these battery supports, you're like, well, Mike, what should I be using if none of these are the option? Well, first of all, um, it depends on the OEM certification or the OEM manufacturer that you're working on, right? I can tell you that a lot of the OEMs that I personally work with, uh, they used to recommend something called a Medtronic's GR8, which has now been superseded. It's replaced by the Medtronic's DCA8000. I can tell you General Motors recognizes a Medtronic's device. It's actually a smaller version. I don't recall the model number. So what I would recommend that you do is check with that appropriate OEM. And you know what? If you say, well, Mike, I'm not really certified, but I really want to do the right thing. Here's what I would encourage you to do. Maybe take a walk or take a drive over to your closest dealership service department and ask them what kind of a battery support do you use? Now, again, some people might refer to this. I've heard the term used uh, battery maintainer, battery I believe, was the term tenders. that we've heard. But, um, you know, I've always just called it battery support. But here's what you understand, really, is that hooking up battery support in order to conduct a pre or post scan is a not included operation. It's also important that if we're going to perform that operation and we're going to bill for it, that we use the proper tooling and equipment. And these options that you see here are not the proper tooling and equipment. So thanks for joining us for today's tip. And Danny, any other thoughts? No, Mike, I mean, excellent information here. And like I said, you're gonna hear a bunch of different terms used for these things. There's different brands, there's different, you know, things like that. It's always best to re refer to the OEM uh, repair manual and the approved tooling and equipment list.